Hello again. Um, today I'm going to share with you um, some of the vows that uh, brides and brides, grooms and grooms or brides and groom um, use at the wedding. My favourites, I have to say, are when the bride and groom write their own vows with or without my help and don't share them until the day because that's always uh, very moving. Um, many, many ways of, of making vows. Um, I have um, a fair selection of vows that you can repeat after me or say we will to. Um, vows that tie in with uh, the lighting of a candle, the exchange of a ring, some are funny, some are moving. Um, there's something out there for everybody. And if there isn't something that strikes a chord with you, then I'll help you to write it. Um, so no particular order. And I have to be honest, I, I heard this one somewhere and scribbled it down on a bit of paper because I really liked it. Uh, and I have no idea who wrote it. Um, so with apologies to the author. Um, this is, is obviously said as part of a, a ritual um, in which uh, there's wine involved, a candle and a, a ring. So it's all very symbolic, but I think the, the words are lovely. And the idea would be that both parties um, would say these words to the other as they exchange the rings. With this hand, I will lift your sorrows. Your cup will never be empty, for I will be your wine. With this candle, I will light your way in darkness. With this ring, I ask you to be mine. Simple, but very, very nice. Um, this is from Humanists UK, um, and they describe it as uh, an earth vow. Um, and it's adapted from Caldera and Schwarzstein, uh, authors on non-religious wedding rites and rituals. And probably suits somebody um, more spiritual, um, but again, different, but very meaningful. By seeds of all beginning, I make this vow. By the roots of all depth, I swear to love with all my might. By stem and trunk that reach the sky, I swear to respect your soaring spirit. By buds that grow, I swear to never crush your dreams. By leaf that kisses the sun and rain, I swear to share my joys and sorrows with you. By flowers that open to the dawn, I swear that I do trust you. By fruit that gives forth sweetness, I swear to nourish and support you. By seeds within the fruit that grows the tree anew, I swear to begin anew with you again and again. As all green things grow, so shall our love. As its memory be carried forever, beneath the feet of a thousand generations to come. This next one um, just makes me smile. Um, I, I think it's really nice and quite realistic. It's adapted from the poem Bridled Vows by Ian Duhigg. I will be faithful to you, I do vow, but not until the seas have all run dry, etc. To be your perfect wife, I could not swear. Our love, yes, honour, maybe, won't obey. But we'll cooperate if you will care as much as you are seeming to today. I'll do my best to be your better half, but I don't have the patience of a saint, not with you. At you I may sometimes laugh and snap too, though I'll try to learn restraint. We might work out, no blame if we do not. With all my heart, I think it's worth a shot. And finally, a very, very simple um, word exchange as the, the rings uh, are passed between the parties. Um, and again, both parties would repeat this as they put the ring on the finger. I place this ring on your finger as a symbol of my everlasting love. 
With this ring I give myself to you. Wear it and know that I love you. I give you this ring on our wedding day. It is never ending, just like my love. Whenever you look at it or touch it, know that I love you this day and always. And I do think for a lot of people, the vows are really at the absolute heart of the ceremony. And it's so important that they're the right vows for you, that they say what you want to say and the way that you want to say them. Uh, so it's worth taking a bit of time uh, and giving it a lot of thought. And that's where a celebrant comes in. You know, I can help you to work out really what you want to say and make sure you say it in a way that your partner will absolutely adore you for. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do tomorrow yet. If anybody's got any suggestions, um, let me know. Um, but um, I'm thinking about promises um, and it may be nice to share some of the promises that guide parents uh, have exchanged at naming celebrations. Guide parents are the humanist version of godparents. Um, so guardians without the angelic bit or the god bit. Okay, have a good evening and I'll see some of you tomorrow hopefully.